Okay, hello. Welcome to another writing session. Uh, I haven't written for a few days. In fact, I haven't made that many videos. I made three videos yesterday on Saturday, so that was good. Um, but uh, my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was kind of a mess just with work things. Um, and today I partly was catching up with that, so I only made one video today so far, this one. Um, so got a little little behind there, um, but also got some new hardware, so I got this type of uh, keyboard, the split uh, Kinesis keyboard. I'm waiting on the magnetic uh, wrist pad thingies. Um, I also have a vertical mouse from Logitech which is supposed to have less strain on your wrist. And I ordered a wrist pad for my mouse. And also I got some stress relief balls of different resistance um, for my wrists. And I got a laptop stand um, to make my laptop sit up so I can uh, see the screen at eye level. One of my friends said, well, you should just get a 4K 30 inch monitor or whatever. Uh, maybe I'll end up doing something like that. Maybe that's a better option. Um, there's a wireless version of this keyboard, by the way, the like the pro version um, that uses different software. That's like more sophisticated software, although it's like you got to go to GitHub and mess with it, which I could do it. Um, I was thinking that maybe the wires would be more reliable, and I think it's okay uh, instead of doing Bluetooth or whatever. Uh, what I will say is that the wires kind of, you know, are hitting my laptop on the laptop stand. So they're just these little little things I'm figuring out. Um, the big thing is it is very different typing on this keyboard than on, say, my laptop keyboard or on any of the mechanical keyboards I have um, to the point where, you know, the first... First time I used it after about five minutes, I put it away and I said, okay, I don't know if I can tolerate this, uh, but I've decided I'm going to try to do it. Um, one of the things that's different is you use a lot of the keys with your thumb. You know, so let's see if we can zoom in on that. So these are all thumb, thumb keys. Um, you know, and, and for Emacs, uh, that's definitely different because I'm used to my left pinky finger doing control, that kind of thing, which maybe is not ergonomically good, but that's what I'm used to. Uh, these are the windows set up and comes with keycaps and a keycap puller. So I've changed these to use Mac uh, keycaps. But it's just, you know, the layout of things are different. Um, so like the escape key is here. It's a different position and a different shape than I'm used to. In fact, I didn't even notice it. Michael Ballantyne had to point out, oh yeah, you do have an escape key. I was like, hey, there's no escape key. This is this is a, a problem. But things like the tilde, you know, it's like way down here instead of in the upper left under the escape. So I, I'm trying to learn, you know, the, the layout. Um, and they, they have special types of of uh, function keys, basically, as well. So, yep, it's a, a very different typing experience. Supposedly more ergonomic. I will say so far, I've just been kind of stressed from, you know, losing all of the muscle memory I had, which wasn't great. I was never great at typing. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I'm getting into it. I was at 11 words a minute yesterday when I started, and I think I got up to a burst of like 20 words a minute. <clears throat> uh, but it's going to be a while until I can write quickly. Another thing is, you know, one of my friends suggested, well, you might want to learn how to type for real with the home row and all that, because this keyboard's really designed to keep your fingers on the home row as much as possible. Um, so there's a typing app online that I was starting to play with. And this brings me to one of the typing issues I've run into, which is if, you know, I'm so used to using Emacs, especially for programming. And Emacs, as everyone knows, stands for Escape Meta Alt Control Shift. 
Um, so it's keeping my fingers on the home row. You know, I, I would start learning to touch type and then I would start doing some scheme programming or something. And then, you know, the, the weird gyrations I was doing with my fingers, um, I don't know, with, with all the meta keys, I would quickly kind of fall apart. So this time it seems like I'm going to have to be a little more serious. I've thought about switching to Vim. I've thought about using evil mode. I've even looked at a few um, open source and commercial apps that are just like Markdown or focus writing apps that have very little in the way of control. I guess what I could do is just start up Emacs, load a buffer and just type, you know, just try to do as little as possible, um, both with the, the mouse and also with the, you know, meta keys or you know, control or whatever. Uh, I will say switching to the external mouse is a little annoying. I'm used to the trackpad, which I could use with my thumbs. Um, so having to to reach out from this ergonomic keyboard and grab the mouse, um, it's a little awkward. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting used to it, getting used to it. But like I said, it's uh, so far the strain level feels um, maybe higher than I had anticipated just because, you know, I don't know how to type at all um, on this keyboard. I knew how to type a little bit. There are also different settings, like different heightness, different tenting levels, they call it. And so I'm still trying to figure out what, what feels comfortable. But in any case, um, you know, with all my highfalutin goals of you know, finishing a bunch of books um, this year and writing a million words, I've kind of retreated to how about I can write for X amount of time without wrist pain. Okay, so that's that's really kind of where I am, where the, uh, the idea is if I can increase that, where I'm constantly, or sorry, sorry, on a continual basis, if I can spend like an hour in the chair writing each day, maybe two hours some days, you know, uh, and I'm allocating that towards writing a book, then I'll make progress. So, you know, I've backed off some and let's just focus on mechanics of writing words. So that's where I am right now. Um, let's see. I will say that I find that my current Emacs setup a little annoying for just writing. Um, <clears throat> so word count for that document is 743. I think, you know, there are some word count modes, but I don't know if they're like on the fly word count modes, whereas basically all the writing apps, you know, you can set a target. Here's how many words you've written so far. Here's how much time you can set a time target. You know, you can have different timers and counters and that kind of thing. And there's like typewriter modes where only, you know, everything's centered and the text fades off the, the lines that you're editing. You know, there are things like that, which sort of keeps it simple and really focused on this sort of minimalist thing. Whereas, you know, I, I guess for Emacs, I could probably configure it that way. Maybe there's a package like that. Yeah, I guess I just load a buffer and start writing and just don't worry about it. So I do have um, sort of the old fashioned way to do things, which is a stopwatch. So my goal for this video is going to be to write for uh, 10 minutes with this keyboard. I'm gonna start it off small. Um, see if I can do 10 minutes, I think I can. As far as writing, um, to be honest, I, even thinking about writing a book, <laughs> I'm just trying to trying to figure out how to find like the S key is uh, a little annoying, but I guess I will. I just want to make sure that I actually am typing. So, all right, we're going to do 10 minutes and I, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about, let's see. Oh, 
see this is what I'm talking about. Uh, control, control. So now I use my right hand, my right thumb. My right thumb is control now. I was like, that's totally different. Oh, whoops, when I went to control X, control F. Okay. All right. I'm just going to type some stuff for 10 minutes. Uh, see if I can just hack that. <clears throat> Trying to get in my ergonomic position. <clears throat> All right. So literally this is just going to be me trying to type words. Um, not even worrying about the book right now. Okay, here we go. I thought Artosis got salty playing StarCraft. <sighs> okay, well, Joe, you can do it.
So one one thing with this keyboard that I find uh, a little difficult to wrap my head around is there are a whole lot of keys here that you hit with your thumbs. And that's backspace, delete, command, option, home, in, control, command, page up, page down, enter, and space. Um, and I'm you know, struggling to find a uh, hand position where my thumbs can comfortably cover all of that territory. Uh, maybe the wrist uh, rests will help. I'm not sure. Try adjusting the height a little bit. Space and enter are right next to each other, so about half the time I hit the wrong key. Uh, now, what I can say is I can remap any of these keys trivially, and so if I wanted to, I could, you know, swap and put the uh, space on the left side, um, or I could put the inner. I don't know, but. Uh, Still getting used to it. All right, I think my hand position is probably better. Right, the second it's probably closer to where it should be. <clears throat> that meant I was meaning, meaning that to be inner. Okay, that was 10 minutes. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> okay, so apparently I'm typing uh, almost seven words a minute. Um, probably going to need to up, up, upgrade that to hit a million words. Uh, let's see, they're 31 million seconds in a year. So, um, or roughly 31 million seconds in a year. So this is going to be, uh, challenging until my speed improves. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll just do, uh, typing lessons for, you know, next uh, week or two um 
I probably need to be hitting full, I don't know, maybe 40 words a minute. I'm not sure what's a, what's a target where, um, where it makes sense for me to focus on the writing of the book. I could maybe do some with a pen or pencil. I'm not sure, but uh, I knew that it would happen switching to this keyboard. And like I said, so far, well, I will say, you know, I felt like a little bit with my right wrist, uh, but right now it actually feels pretty good. And I think I was getting a better hand position. I, I do think those wrist guards will probably help some. Um, I think they just arrive tomorrow. So, uh, you know, I'll, I will keep keep going. I'm gonna, going to commit to it. So this is how I'm going to going to write the books um, with this keyboard. That's uh, the plan. So you know, um, I'm going to do some typing exercises and see what sort of speed uh, I can get up to. Um, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll learn relatively quickly. Um, e even changing, you know, around the format or the location of the Mac keys today helped a lot. So I don't know, I'll consider, I might move the space inner thing. That one drives me up the wall. I'll say, I mean, I just, I'm constantly hitting inner when I mean space and vice versa. So just having my thumb have to pick the right one. I find that super awkward, so I don't know. Um, I might might m try moving that around a little bit, but uh, that's that's where I am right now. Um, so I will practice typing. Okay, uh, thank you, and talk to you soon.